Today we're going to make an iron bound coffee table. Here's what you need to get started. The legs of the coffee table are made from 3 quarter inch diameter black iron pipe. The top is made from three pieces of 2 by 8, 4 feet long. A one and a half inch angle iron is used to bind the pieces of wood together. I measured a piece of angle iron that is as long as the three boards are wide. I clamp the angle iron to a workstation so that I can cut it securely with an angle grinder. I used the first piece that I cut to measure the second piece. You can find detailed instructions for this project including all the pieces of pipe that I used on my website. I placed the angle iron on the edge of the three boards and then used a pencil to draw a line across the boards. I then used the two pieces of angle iron to adjust the height of the blade on my circular saw so that the blade depth is the same as the thickness of the angle iron. I then used the circular saw to cut a series of grooves into the edge of the board that will allow me to recess the angle iron. I used a hammer and chisel to scrape away the extra pieces of wood and an orbital sander to smooth down the recess so that the angle iron will fit perfectly. A speed square and a clamp are helpful for setting an edge to make sure that you don't cut too far into the wood. I used my orbital sander to sand all the boards down with 220 grit sandpaper. I then laid out the tabletop and marked the location of the screw holes. I clamped the angle iron down to my work surface and used cutting oil where I was planning on drilling through the metal. Now I want the screw heads to sit flush with the surface of the metal, so I countersunk them by switching to a larger drill bit and drilling part of the way through the thickness of the metal. I then used the screw holes on the first piece to mark the locations of the screw holes on the second piece. Now these angle irons were a little bit rusty, so I used an orbital sander to sand off the rust. I also drilled holes on the other side of the angle iron. I then wiped them down with some oil so that they wouldn't form new rust. I then clamped the angle irons in place and screwed them to the wooden tabletop. Next, I screwed the pipe legs to the underside of the table. I then switched out the cutting blade on my angle grinder to a flat disc with 40 grit paper. The angle grinder is a really great way to grind down the metal so that it's flush with the wood. I also use the angle grinder to grind down the heads of the screws so that they're flush with the metal. I did a little more finished sanding with 220 grit on my orbital sander and then finished the table with a coat of Danish oil. The table looks great but it was a little bit too high for what I wanted so I switched out the legs with some shorter pieces For more detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on social media for updates on new projects. And if you're looking for a place to share some of your own project ideas, check out Ryobi Nation.